Hi there, this is Irene from Frederick Cups, and this video is about the fifth annual Frederick Pagan Pride Day, which is this Saturday, September 14th, from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. at the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of Frederick. In this video, I'm going to teach you the chant that we'll be using at the opening ritual, which is at 10 a.m., and a little bit more about that ritual. And then after that, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the festival, what you can bring, what you can expect, maybe some information you'd like to know. So let's start with the opening ritual. Our opening ritual is an opportunity to set shared, safe, sacred space. So during that ritual, members of different communities will come forward and speak and create an intention of friendship. So I'll begin in that ritual. I'll say, I speak for Frederick Cups. I speak as a member of the Unitarian Universalist pagan community. I come to this space with an open heart and an open mind. Let there be peace between us. And then everyone will say back, let there be peace between us. And then the ambassador of another group will speak and they will end with, let there be peace between us. And we will say back, let there be peace between us. So after that part of the ritual concludes, we're gonna do a chant to raise some energy and set the space around us to create a beautiful, a beautiful shield of sound and peace and magic and beauty. And the chant we're gonna use for that is Let the Way Be Open, which is one of my favorite chants. So I'm gonna sing it for you three times, that way you can sing along and learn the chant. Also, I will put the lyrics somewhere around the video. Hi, Corey. <laughs> Just click around and you should find it. So, here we go. Sing through my voice, play through my hands, let the way be open. Sing through my voice, play through my hands, let the way be open. Sing through my voice, play through my hands, let the way be open. So that's the chant that we will be using, and then the festival will be open. Hooray! So let's talk a little bit more about Frederick Pagan Pride Day. This is an outreach opportunity to meet our local pagans <laughs> and meet our local community. And it's a wonderful chance to exchange ideas and information and meet new friends and make connections. It's awesome. And as a result, we don't charge admission for this. It's a free festival. We do ask, instead of admission, that you bring a donation to one of two local charities. And we're supporting two this year. So a donation of non-perishable food, and unfortunately it does need to be commercially prepared. Um, there is no oversight on home canned goods, so we do have to ask for a commercially prepared non-perishable food as a donation for the Frederick Food Bank. The other charity that we are supporting is the Adoption Center at the uh, Frederick County Animal Control. And of course that's where so many of us get our familiars. So we're going to be supporting them. They have specific items that they have asked for, so I'm going to tell you what they are. They are looking for sponges, bleach, Dawn dish soap and unopened food. So even if you've only used part of a bag of kibble, the bag of kibble needs to be sealed in order for them to uh, accept it as a donation. Same thing with oversight. They need to be sure that what they're giving their animals is safe. They also are open to other forms of, you know, of pet care, but again, unopened sealed items. So the other thing that we can do if you do not have uh, a non-perishable food donation or you uh, don't have a chance to pick something up for the animal shelter, we can accept donations uh, directly to Frederick Cups, which helps support Frederick Pagan Pride Day, the Midwinter Ball, and all of the programming that Frederick Cups offers. So we have three different ways for you to contribute when you show up. So the other question I get a lot is, what should I bring? So, the festival takes place outside on a big, beautiful open field, and it's got sort of a ring of trees around us, but it's pretty sunny. And Saturday, the forecast looks like it's gonna be pretty warm. So we have water filling stations at multiple locations on that event field. I would recommend bringing a water bottle to fill. Also, if you are <laughs> a little um, sun sensitive, like some of us, bring sunblock. <laughs> it can get very sunny out there. Sometimes a chair can be useful to bring along. 
At our workshop locations, we will have some folding chairs, but if a workshop has really high attendance, we can't guarantee a chair for everyone. So a folding chair might be a useful thing to bring along. We also recommend that you bring cash for vendors and raffle tickets. Our vendors are amazing. The Frederick Pagan Pride Day shopping is ridiculous. And one of the things our fabulous vendors do is that they donate prizes for the raffle. Our raffle tickets are two dollars, or sorry, are three dollars each, or two for five dollars, and they uh, are cash only. And that raffle again helps support Frederick Pagan Pride Day. It helps support everything that we do there. Um, so please feel free to contribute. If you are not present when a raffle is drawn, it's okay. Just write your phone number and your email address clearly on the back of the ticket, and we will get in touch with you, and you can still pick up your prize. I think that's about it. Oh, a notebook and something to write with can be really useful, especially since we have some amazing workshops this year. You might want to take notes. I am so excited about Saturday. I'm looking forward to seeing you, and I hope you have a wonderful time. I hope you come out and you meet some incredible new friends, and you get some wonderful shiny things, and you get to hear some great music and learn some really cool stuff. See you Saturday. <laughs>